Every now and then, I'll get a comment that takes me by surprise, like this one. Apparently, some people still don't know how to install games into a PCS3. They could be new to emulation, or maybe they recently made the switch to PC. This video will hopefully be useful to those people. The most common way to install or load games into the emulator is through package files. They are installed using a simple drag and drop method, as shown here. In this example, I'm installing a game called Amy. It's a PlayStation Network title, and its smaller size makes it better suited as a package file. The thing about installing games in this method is that they usually have a DRM. It's called a wrap file, but essentially they were designed to prevent piracy on original hardware. The wrap file is just as easy to install. Simply drag and drop into the emulator. Updates and downloadable content are installed in the same way, by dragging and dropping into the window. Once you're done with the game, deleting it from your system is easy. Simply right-click on the game's profile and select Remove. If you want, also remove the cache and custom config. It will help to keep things clean. Sometimes you download a game and it's in a folder and now you don't know what to do. Dragging and dropping won't work here, so you'll have to copy and paste the folder inside the emulator. So right click on the icon and select open file location. From there you can just follow my example until I get to the disk folder. Drag the games folder inside and close the explorer window. Once you hit the refresh button, you'll see the newly installed game inside the emulator screen. For the record, updates and downloadable content is installed in the same way as before, using package files. Here we can revert to the drag and drop method, even though the main game was installed differently. Be aware that you can't uninstall the game as before. You have to go back to where you pasted the folder and delete it from your computer. Once that's done, hit refresh again. ISO files are becoming more popular on ROM hosting sites. Their installation method is very similar to folders, but has one extra step. Firstly, double-click on the ISO and wait for the Explorer window to open. Then create a new folder on your desktop. Rename it to match the game's title. In this case, it's Army of Two. Then drag the Explorer's contents into this new folder. If you followed the second method, this should be familiar to you by now. We paste the game folder into the emulator's disk folder. After that, you can hit refresh and presto, you're done. That's it for this video. If you found it useful, please remember to give a like. It really helps with the algorithm. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.